Yo, what's up everybody? This is Red Wolf Sports Videos and we appreciate you checking back in. Today we're going to be discussing DeAndre Swift and uh, My Thoughts uh, podcast. Now My Thoughts is a series uh, where we kind of just react to different players or even sports teams and just give pretty much our thoughts on the player. Today we're going to dive in and discuss DeAndre Swift, the running back out of Georgia. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right in it. Now, DeAndre Swift is one of the top running backs coming out of the state of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, where he played uh, for Georgia. Um, now, currently, he is either anywhere between the top five running backs on most of these uh, draft analysts' boards. Now, um, me in particular, I think he and Jonathan Taylor are the top running backs coming out. Um, just kind of just going to go ahead and look at some of his stats here. Now, he start, he came in as a freshman at Georgia. Uh, but he he was there when they had Sony Michelle and also Nick Chubb, and even then he was still able to be very productive as a true freshman. He had 81 uh, rushing attempts and was able to put up uh, about 600 yards and still had three touchdowns. Showed his explosive explosive ability by having a long of about 71 yards, and then he uh, came back the following year in 2018 after those guys were able to. Uh, go on to the next level he was able to get more of a workload there at georgia and just show that he can um, produce as the lead back where he was able to get 163 carries and finally crack that thousand yard mark and then produce with 10 touchdowns again showing that he's very explosive uh, by capping off about an eight, uh, 83 yard run now the following year this past year in 2019 um, he was able to take his carries up another notch to 196, uh, produce 1,200 yards with an average of 6.2 per carry, seven touchdowns, and a 47 was his long of the year. Now, besides the running ability and him being able to be a regular running back, I do think the way that today's game is played, uh, you definitely have to have the ability to stay on all three downs of the field. So basically on third down, you don't want to be the running back that they sub you out to put in a pass catcher. So he has that ability. He's he's the, definitely the best pass catching back that's coming out of this draft. Um, I think he you can compare him up there with uh, all the new age running backs that's dominating right now with Alvin Kamar, Chris, Christian McCaffrey, and Dalvin Cook. I mean, the list can go on. I think he's going to be that, that explosive. Uh, he was able to play in the slot, so he's had some experience there catching the ball. Um, and he's just, just great catching the ball. But if you kind of just look at some of his stats here, um, starting off with 2017, he had 17 receptions. Uh, but then again, you know, he wasn't the lead guy. Uh, still had 150 yards on a, on a year um, and then a touchdown. But his second year in 2018, he had uh, was able to get a little bit more of a workload. Um, 32 receptions, almost 300 yards at 297, um, 9.3 average per catch, three touchdowns. And in his final year here this past year in 2019, uh, he had 24 receptions, 216 yards, nine yards per catch, and a touchdown. Uh, so going ahead and kind of just piggybacking off of that, just going ahead and going over my pros for him. He has really good speed. Now, when he went to the combine, he ran a 4.48. It was actually a little bit surprising for me because I didn't I didn't know how fast he was. I did think that he was a 4.4 four, uh, four, four guy. So he just pretty much just solidified and validated that he is a fast guy. Um, and then also just being explosive again, confirmed that he is at least the top five back. I think he's in the top tier with Jonathan Taylor that's coming out now. Um, so it'll be interesting to see uh, where he goes. But um, if I had to go ahead and give a con for him, um, for me, it would be um, not sure how powerful he really is. We'll have to definitely see what he looks like. Um, I don't really see too many runs where he can run through a guy. You know, I know this it's just probably just not his game, but um, I do think that he has the ability. But uh, he mostly just makes people miss, which is which is excellent. Um, and then another thing was, I mean, he didn't get an extreme workload. I mean, you kind of compare him with Jonathan Taylor, who that's all he did was just turn around, hand him off, hand him the ball off almost every other play. So we'll definitely be able to see, you know, what what his workload is going to be. Uh, when I kind of see him in the NFL, uh, I definitely could see him just being a three down guy. Honestly, um, the best way I think we'll be able to use him will be able to have him run and be able to be a catcher. So just being that Christian McCaffrey, that 
that Dalvin Cook and um, uh, Alvin Kamara type of running back. Um, so it's going to be just interesting to see how, how he's used. Um, he's definitely a first-round talent to me, uh, but I don't think that he's going to go in the first round. My, my projection for him is going to probably be the second round, um, similar to Jalen's and Taylor's, just too many other prison deep. So I think he's just going to uh, supply and demand. He's just going to end up falling down. Uh, I think he can possibly do sneak in the first round, though. You never know in that back end. If Kansas City, you never know, they decide to go ahead and stay there at 32 and they can pick up a guy like DeAndre Schrift, uh, their offense be taken to a whole nother level as well. I mean, you have speed all over the field with McCole Hartman. I mean, you got Robinson, Hill, of course, Watkins, and then you put Swift in the backfield with Williams as well uh, with Travis Kelsey. I, don't, I think they're pretty much... <laughs> They're going to average about 35, 40 points a game with him, and, and he'll just light it up. So um, my player comp for him is, uh, as I was mentioning, those Dalvin Cook guys, the Alvin Kamara guys. Um, it'll definitely have to be Christian McCaffrey. Now, coming out of Stanford, I think Christian was a better in-betweens runner. He ran with a little bit more presence and force. But nevertheless, those these both of these guys, I think, are pretty similar when it comes to their game. Um, they both can... Excellent receivers um, can play all over the field, can be a returner if you need to. So DeAndre Swift, I think he would be able to um, produce day one. So if he's going to be a starter right out the gate, he could do it. He could come off come out of the, uh, off the bench and be um, a third down running back if you already have um, an elite running back already, a running back one. So uh, he could pretty much do it all. I, I definitely can see him um, going for a 1000 thousand as a rusher and a receiver. So it'll be interesting to see just where he goes and how he's utilized. Um, so nonetheless, just let me know what your thoughts are on John, uh, excuse me, DeAndre Swift. Um, if you agree, disagree, uh, what round you see him going in and um, just feel free to go ahead and like, like the button, uh, like the video, subscribe, and I'm out.